Wait, the last minute you pay good. Why are you laughing now? Yeah. That's good. Oh. There was a weird sound. Hello, everyone. My name is Jonas and I am a product manager on Sunrise Village. My name is Larina and I'm a game designer on Sunrise Village. And today we would like to talk about something super special, the team explorations. We've been paying close attention to all your comments and feedback provided through Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group and on YouTube. And we gathered all your comments and you know what? It makes totally sense. So we have collected the best of your ideas, combined them with the results of internal discussions to create a set of improvements that we truly hope you will enjoy. Out of that, we have created a truckload of improvements like new maps, new tasks and task providers, more valuable rewards and changes to the ranking. That said, please stick around until the end of the video, subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page to never miss any updates about Sunrise Village again. Let's start with the biggest challenge of the team explorations. The most noticeable change is that you don't have only one map, you have now three maps to explore. Every team exploration will start on the first map. And if you manage to complete all the tasks on this map, you can move forward to the next map and start exploring that. So for example, the new maps have more regions, more task providers and more challenging tasks. Moreover, some of you have commented on the difficulty of making progress as a team. And we believe it's a fair point. So we have removed the team-based blockers in the team explorations. And now progress is totally up to you as a player. You can progress in your individual speed and you're not dependent on the team progress anymore. You might be wondering about how to move to the next map and there's an easy solution for that. At the end of each map, you will find a gate. Once you complete the last region, the gate opens and allows you to progress to the next map. And even when you're on the third map, you can still view the previous one. But what happens to the team exploration points, you might be asking. All the exploration points obtained as a team will stay in the ranking system. Another change we have made is linked directly to the team exploration task. We have adjusted existing tasks and created also new ones. The greenhouse task was more challenging than the harvest task and from now on they are separated. There's also a new type of task which allows you to pay goods in order to get team exploration points. We have also rebuilt the task providers. The first map presents an easy and fast introduction into the feature. On the second map, the number of tasks and the difficulty increases. And the third map is supposed to be really challenging and something for our most active players. And speaking of rewards, we also are making changes here. Donna, we mentioned that the team explorations can be very difficult and that it's not so fun that not every player who contributes to the team exploration gets any reward at the end. We understand where you're coming from and we agree with that. From now on, everyone should get a slice of the cake. So we have expanded the ranking system to make sure that every participant receives rewards at the end of an expedition. And that's not all. The most challenging tasks will grant you the most valuable rewards, like fragments and energy. So we truly hope you will like the changes our team has prepared for you. So from all the changes, what are you most excited about? Leave us some comments below and make sure to join our Facebook group to connect with other players. That's all for now. See you in Sunrise Village. See you in the game.